Friday night in the NBA. Here's your top 10 plays from the evening in San Antonio. Tony Parker, watch him just dump this no look off to Timmy D for the slam. Those two have got a little chemistry, wouldn't you say? At number nine in Detroit, Greg Monroe, the steal and the slam right there as he picks the pocket of Kurt Heinrich going baseline. Number eight in Philly, Rajon Rondo. Just a little double clutch, gets it to go around Spencer Hawes. Wasn't gonna go over him. Might as well go around him. At number seven, Gerald Wallace. A two-on-one break for the Warriors, and Wallace says one's enough to take care of you two. Swatting Harrison Barnes and headed back the other way. Number six in Minnesota. Luke Rittenauer goes behind the back, and Kevin Love slips the screen for a nice cut and a two-hand slam. At number five, OKC, a lot of stars in this one. Russell Westbrook had 33 points, including a thunderous jam in an OKC win. At number four, speaking of thunderous jam, JaVale McGee, about a 13-foot wingspan for this kid. Up and over for the slam. We threw that one in, but we'll still count. Brandon Jennings at number three. Nice pass. Just a little slip through right there for Ursan Ilyasova. Nice assist for Jennings is number three. At number two, Alonzo G. Oh, G. Willicky. Alonzo getting up for the flush. But number one, game winners always hold a little more weight in these top ten lists, and Evan Turner making sure he's got the top spot. The game winner in overtime against the C's, Evan Turner in double figures in the 11th straight game. That's your top ten for Friday night. Ten games on a Saturday. These are your top ten plays. We love Semtree at NBA.com. The editors have decided that at number 10, it's DeAndre 3000, cooler than a polar bear's toenail on that block. Markeith Morris down for the count. Watch it one more time. Nobody rises over DeAndre Jordan. At number nine, Damian Lillard blazing a trail to the rack and maybe, just maybe, the rookie of the year, but it's early. The kid's got hops and he showed it on number nine. Number eight to Chicago we go, where Marco is ringing the Bellinelli. Off glass at the end of the first quarter creates a little space, and that's just a normal jump shot for Marco Bellinelli, even if he did use the glass. Number seven, it's a Festus for the rest of us. Festus Azili saves the day for the Golden State Warriors with the block on Bradley Beal right there. That was game safe. At number six, full service from the rookie MKG, Michael Kidd Gilchrist with the block, with the pass, and Jeff Taylor with the absolute stuff. Look at it one more time, nice handles from Kidd Gilchrist, but Taylor has got a little bit of rise in his game. Number five now, big men working together quickly, Marcus all down low to Zebo. Zach to the rack for the layup, he had 18 points and 13 rebounds, but more importantly to him, he's number five on the top 10. Number four, Dante Jones just shot out of a cannon, crushing on Patrick Patterson. And yeah, we'll take a look at that one one more time. Patterson actually looked like he got a piece of that one, but Dante just powers on through. Number three, all hail the king, even his teammates. Mario Chalmers knows where his bread's buttered. Get it up to LeBron, and the MVP will take care of the rest. Take care of your head on this one. Headband to glass nearly as LeBron rises for number three. At number two, he's a regular in the top 10, Alonzo G unit on Kyle. There, look at it one more time. Alonzo G knows how to make the highlights. 12 points and nine rebounds and number two on the NBA.com top 10. And no, sir, Kyle Singler, you're having none of that from Alonzo G. But at number one, it's CP3 to BG for the finish. Southpaw Spike, how about Blake Griffin showing a left on this day? Blake Griffin, again, number one on the NBA.com top 10. Six games on a Sunday in the association. Veteran editor in the house. This should be a good top 10. Jamal Crawford. 
Every time he does it, he adds to his legacy 35 all-time four-point plays. That's number one all-time. He's part of that bench battalion that's getting it done for the Clippers. At number nine, a Lincoln High special, Lance Stevenson. That's some bully ball when you can go up, around, through, over, whatever you want to call it when it's Serge Ibaka hanging out in the lane. Lance Stevenson at number nine. Number eight, the bench battalion is back. Matt Barnes pre-ejection behind the back over to Ronnie Turioff going off with the jam. Number seven, a point guard blocking a center. Russell Westbrook on Roy Hibbert. I'd say nothing but pumpkin, but is there a little risk there? You be the judge at number seven. Number six, we got a crash test coming up. Gerald Wallace is taking off for the Brooklyn Nets. And you know what number one should be every night? Yes, Mo, look at the beautiful cameras in the new Barclays Center. Number five, and I said at five, it's Blake Griffin with the rebound throwdown. So once again, it's number five, Blake Griffin with the jam. Number four, look at this, Raymond Felton to Tyson, who's icing the Nuggets. Raymond Felton up and over JaVale McGee, no small feat. Tyson Chandler had his own dunk contest, and guess what? He won. At number three, the Jazz go Carolyn. Damore doing the helicopter somehow, some way gets in. Beautiful pass. Don't sleep on Mo Williams, but Damore, the reason they're at number three. At number two, he used to be a Nick. Danilo, delicious on this one. And watch the Spike salute here from the Denver players. Yeah, if you look closely, that's what Spike used to do when Danilo made a nice play for those New York Knickerbockers. At number one, though, it's the Phoenix Suns. They're having trouble winning, but Markeith to Jared Dudley to Shannon Brown, who finishes strong. you got to watch this one more time. I hear they play another sport on Sunday, and they throw passes like this. Obviously not as entertaining as this. The number one play of the day, it's the Phoenix Suns, Markeith, Jared Dudley, and Shannon Brown finishing it off. It's Monday night, so that can only mean one thing. It's hoops time, time for the top 10 people on NBA.com. At 10, J Max on J Ru with defense. Max Seal with the fever for the flavor of a block at 10. On to number nine, perhaps you've heard of this guy before. It's DeMarvelous DeRozan just swooping down the lane for the Raptors, and you gotta stop ball, and if you don't stop ball, you're not gonna stop this. DeRozan with the jam. On to number eight, playing in front of his father, Dell Steph Curry, smoother than lotion on the ocean with that little reverse layup. Watch it one more time, nice steal, and this just is terrific. Under the hoop play, Steve Smith will enjoy that. On to number seven, without the benefit of sight. Look at LeBron James. No look this pass to D Wade down low for the reverse layup. And if you are a Heat hater, you may want to no look this highlight. More Miami to come. But we move on to number six, up to Philly. And it's Evan Almighty with the rebound throwdown. Getting up and over Charlie Villanueva. You got to get some young legs here, Charlie. Evan Turner with the power flush. At number five, who knew that Steph had this type of shake? LeBron had a no-look pass, but Jeff Taylor apparently playing some no-look D here. Get out of the way, and Steph finishes with the three. And we appreciate that, because that gets him to number five on the top ten. At number four, yeah, MVP. Left-handed rebound throwdown, and it doesn't get much better than that. However... The editorial staff did find three they like better. Watch Jay Crowder. His Papa Corey played in the NBA, and Corey would like that pass. Lefty behind the back to Elton Brand. you got to see it again to see how slick this is. See you later, Jason Thompson. Elton Brand with the nice catch and the nice finish. On to number two. And Jesus Shuttlesworth walking on air, saving that one. It's a great save. Norris Cole knows where his bread's buttered. Get it to LeBron James, who finishes off this highlight. But credit to the old man, tiptoe on the sidelines. 
hang in the air and we cut ahead because LeBron is doing that at the rim. But at number one, it's Michael Jackson at the Grammys. It's Titanic at the Oscars. The King is all over the top 10 on NBA.com. Norris Cole is a smart man because once again, he goes to LeBron and is the headband above the rim. Watch Josh Smith on the bench. Yeah, I better get back up and get back into the game in a hurry. LeBron's tops on the top 10. Stops. Ball stolen by Verja. Slot coming lane in the weeds, going coast to coast, and he hammered it home with a soft slam. Anderson Verja playing the passing lane. Mr. Energy is coming to the wild. The wild thing is coming to the forefront. Gasol behind the back to Randolph. Oh, what a play! And the Grizzlies have their largest lead. Egypt, an encouragement. They're right around that 500 mark. Oh, Butler throws it down on Cayman. Oh, he can do that. We know he's been capable of that all through his career. That's why I was waiting for him. That's what we said. He's got to go to the best construct. Even at age 32, Karan Butler still can rise. Anderson Derrick out. Gibson, bounce tossing. G at the top, and he was fouled. So G in his favorite spot. To the hoop. No, not happy. And during the season, this is Shannon Brown. Comes up the three of the two-time champion with the Lakers. Another offensive rebound. Brown inside. He throws down the sledgehammer. Nice Woo. pass there by Martin Gortat. So when you get offensive rebounds and second shot opportunities, good things happen. Midway through quarter number two, came in with good defense, but into the hands of Crawford. Oh, what a play! Behind the back, and lob set into the Andre Jordan. Now that was a highlight play, mainly because Crawford was totally unselfish. 